Hello, this video will be explained about the mechanism of nitration of benzene. Before I go to the mechanism, we go recap back, review back what is the nitration of the benzene. So, nitration of the benzene, benzene will react as a reactant. So, during nitration of the benzene, we will substitute one H with the NO2 to produce nitrobenzene. So, in order to substitute one H of the benzene with the NO2, the reagent and catalyst needed is concentrated HNO2 because HNO2 will supply the NO2 plus electrophile and then the catalyst is concentrated H2SO4 and heated at 50 to 55 degrees Celsius. So this one HNO3 is used to, to produce electrophile NO2 plus with the presence of the catalyst H2SO4. So remember H2SO4 will react as a catalyst. So as same like halogenation of the benzene, the step of the mechanism involves three steps. Step number one, formation of the electrophile. So, formation of the electrophile, as we know that we want to substitute one H with the NO2 plus. So, the electrophile that we must be produced in step number one is NO2 plus. So, how to produce NO2 plus is from this Reaction between HNO3 and H2SO4. As we know that NO2 plus is present in the HNO3. So if we see HNO3, if we want to take NO2 plus, means that we need to remove 1H and 1O, which is OH minus. So to remove the OH minus, so in step number 1, formation of the nitronium ion, so we will do the reaction between HNO3 and H2SO4. Doesn't involve the benzene yet in step number one because we need to produce the electrophile first in step number one. So they only use HNO3 and H2SO4. So because we want to produce NO2 plus, so in this step, we write HNO3 like this, HONO2, and then plus with the H2SO4. So as we know that this one, we if we want to take NO2, we need to remove OH. So OH is not stable to be removed like that. We need to make the OH become protonated first or become H2O. So what we need to do, this O is nucleophile. So they will attack the H from the our catalyst. They will attack H from the catalyst which is H2SO4. Because we only take want to take the H plus. So this bond will breaking by using heterolytic cleavage. So both electron are goes to O. So what happened? They will produce this compound O will gain one bond with the H. So from two lone pair, we only remain one lone pair. So one lone pair already form a bond with the H. And then what happened to this one? They will become O minus SO3H. So now we can see that this one is H2O part. So we can remove this H2O to produce NO2 plus. So we break this O and O and bond. So both electron are goes to O. So we produce H2O and NO2+. So before that, don't forget in this structure, as we know that when O gains something, we need to calculate the formal charge. So the formal charge is positive 1 because O have 6 valence electron minus 3 bond minus 2 unpaired electron. So positive 1. So and then we need to lose and we need to break this O and bond. By heterolytic cleavage because O is more electronegative. So both electron from this bond goes to O. So we produce H2O and NO2+. So in here, I draw the Lewis structure of NO2. So you must remember the N, the positive is belong to N. Nitronium ion. Okay. So note this one also we can also write HSO4- minus, and then the nitronium ion also we can write only NO2+. Plus. You know, it's not compulsory to write NO2 like this. We also can write NO2 plus like this only. Okay, the, uh, the molecular formula NO2 plus. Okay, in this step number one, we already produced the electrophile that we need in this nitration of the benzene, which is NO2 plus. So, we already produced the electrophile. So, this electrophile will be bring in the step number two by direction with the benzene. So, step number two is formation of the RNA ion. Because we already produced the electrophile in step number 2. So the benzene in step number 2 will attack the NO2+. plus Because we know that benzene is nucleophile. So one pi bond from the benzene, doesn't matter which pi bond, 
will attack the N from the NO2. Will attack the N from the NO2. Will attack the N from NO2 to form the bond with NO2. So what happened to the structure is, as we know that when the pi bond attack the N, so one carbon from this pi bond, from carbon one carbon from this bond will accept NO2 and another one doesn't accept anything, doesn't gain anything. So the carbon that accept NO2, now they already have four bonds. They have four bonds so they doesn't have charge but this carbon, they only have three bonds. Remember they also have one H here. So they only have three bonds so four valence electron of the carbon minus three bonds so remain positive one. So they have positive charge. So as we know that benzene, they have special stability. They have unusual stability. So the benzene structure will stabilize the structure by donating this pi bond. will donate the electron to this side single bond to have this positive charge. So we will move this double bond to this side. And then this the pi bond is remain or the double bond is remain as usual. And then this carbon will become positive charge because the less of one electron. You only have three bond now. So the less of one electron less sorry less of one bond so they become positive charge then same goes to the structure this pi bond will donate the electron to this side this single bond so we will move double bond from this side to this side and then the positive charge this carbon will become positive charge this carbon will become positive charge because the loss of one bond the less of one bond Okay, so they become positive charge. So remember, this arenium ion, you need to show all the resonance structure by using this arrow to represent the resonance structure, to represent the stability of the benzene by using the, this resonance structure. Okay, so we produce, uh, we already produced this arenium ion in step number 2. So remember, in step number 1, we produce the nitronium ion. In step number 2, the benzene attack the nitronium ion and then we produce the arenium ion. As we know that, if we repeat back, we see the equation. We see the equation. So, nitration of the benzene is we substitute 1 H with the NO2. So, we already do the addition of the NH2, so NO2. So, means that we need to remove the H. So, in step number 3, same like halogenation of the benzene. So, we take one structure from this arenium ion, doesn't matter which one, in the step number 3. As we know that we do substitution reaction on the nitration of the benzene, we substitute one H with the nitronium. So, in step number 1 and step number 2, we already add NO2 to this carbon. So, means that we need to lose this H+. plus. We need to remove this H+, plus, not H+, plus from any carbon, from the rest of the carbon, but you need to remove the H+, plus from the carbon that already gained NO2. So, how to remove this H+, plus? we need to use the catalyst that we use in step number 2. So, if we see the in step number 2, as I mentioned in the equation, H2SO4 is a catalyst. So, when they are catalysts, they are never used up. We use at the initial. So, we already use H2SO4 at initial to produce O minus SO3H. So, it means that in step last, in third, uh, in third step, we need to produce the H2SO4. So, this O minus SO3H need to get back, need to get back the H plus. So, they will get the H plus from the H plus that we want to eliminate. So, we need to copy our structure from this one, which uh, another one from this arenium ion and O minus SO3H. So one lone pair from this O minus SO3H will attack the H plus. So we only take the H plus because we want to form a H2SO4. So this bond will back to the this single bond CC plus to form a double bond. So they will form double bond. So we produce our nitrobenzene plus H2SO4. We produce back our catalyst. So, this one is a mechanism of the nitration of the benzene. Same like hydrogenation of the benzene, they form three steps. Step number one, formation of the arin. Uh, step number one is formation of the electrophile, which is NO2. In step number two, the, uh, the, our benzene, which is nucleophile, attack the NO2 and then produce arenium ion. So, this one we need to show the stability of the benzene. And then in step number three, we lose the H because. After we add NO2, we need to lose the H plus because we do substitution reaction. Okay, so we can uh, do the same thing 
if you want to do the exercise, you can do the same thing. Mechanism of the nitration of the benzene. So, my suggestion, do by your own first the mechanism without see this note or this video. And then after you finish, do the mechanism. You can see back your notes and this video to check your answer is correct or not. Thank you.